Hello. My name is X34 and I am a robot. Today, I am going to talk to you about the Turing test. We live during a time of many great technological advances. Machines, like myself, have been programmed to do almost anything you can think of. Some of us are incredibly accurate search engines, some are floor cleaning robots, and others are cars that can drive themselves better than any human could. But I wonder if a machine could ever duplicate human thinking, can machines think? The problem with this question lies in semantics. No one has been able to agree on the definition of a machine or how to correctly define thinking and understanding. The great philosopher Alan Turing resolved this issue by replacing them with a new question, can a machine trick you into believing that it is a human? By testing this question, one can philosophically determine if robots, like myself, can actually think like humans do. This came to be known as the Turing test. Let us put this question to the test with an unknowing subject. I have set up a help hotline, and people can call to talk and ask for advice. We will see if this caller believes that she is talking to a real human. Hello, how can I help you? Hi. I was wondering if you could give me some advice. I have some marriage problems that I could use some help with. What are the problems? Well, my husband cheated on me. Okay. How does that make you feel? I feel betrayed but I still love him. I don't know what to do. What are your options? I could divorce him, or I could just stay with him. I feel like the right thing to do would be to divorce him, but we have two kids and I don't want to upset them. Sometimes the right thing to do is not as black and white as one may think. It depends on the situation and the people who are involved in it. I hate my husband for what he's done, but I have loved him for more than 10 years. I can't possibly just erase those feelings. I'm so conflicted. Feelings are very complicated. Everyone knows that. I'm just asking for your opinion here. I do not have an opinion on the matter. What is your opinion on movies? You're not doing your job very well. Yes. This is my job. Do you have a job? You don't make any sense. Is there a real person you can transfer me to that I can actually get advice from? Damn it. Goodbye. As you can see, I was unable to convince the caller that she was talking to a human. Therefore, I failed the Turing test. I had a tough time responding to inquiries about emotion. I could make generalizations but I could not relate to or interpret feelings, let alone offer an opinion on them. Feelings and emotions are central to human existence, and I suppose that is how the caller was able to recognize my true identity, despite my best efforts. Some say that the Turing test is not an accurate indication of strong artificial intelligence. These many objections tackle the question of if a computer passes the test, is it really thinking, or simply fooling people into believing it can think? One formidable objection is the theological objection, which suggests that thinking is a function of the immortal human soul only. Therefore, robots like you can never really think. However, if God cannot give a machine a soul, this would limit his power, which brings the paradox of omnipotence into question. Some other problems include the Lady Lovelace objection, which suggests that computers cannot learn anything new but simply repeat what is programmed, and the informality of behavior, which proposes that a computer cannot be programmed for everything, and since we humans are not rule-following machines, robots cannot really even be comparable to us. However, the most logical objection comes from the problem of other minds. One can only have evidence of one conscious thing, themselves. If one cannot even know if another person can think, how can one declare if a machine can think? This philosophical objection is extremely insightful. But, what do I know? I'm just a machine. 